long time ago, there was a big pile of treasure in the desert, and the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The end. No, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands, of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it, of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it, of a monstrous leviathan, of the Vault Hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Welcome to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if, if you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! <clears throat> I am Shade, and you, you are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. The townspeople of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skip to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. Haven't found anything good? My weapon machines will fix that for you. Guns. I got them. You need them. <sighs> Crystals. I am watching you. A fantastic day for 
Forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some Sandskiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful. If you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Could I please be getting some fries with that shake? You are so attractive. <laughs> Only a few more sand skiff parts and you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure! How fun that you'll be leaving me alone! <laughs> How you doing? They call me Jocko the Joker. I'm a laugh a minute. Hey, what's the difference between a skag and a lack of water? There isn't one because they'll both kill you. <laughs> oh, 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 he is a cut up. Oh, gosh, Jocko. Jocko borrowed one of my pressure regulators for one of his comedy bits the other day. Find it, and it is yours. It's good we have so much water. Otherwise, we might have died of dehydration. <laughs> Please, attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch-a-ride machine. 
system if you want there you may now destruct a sand skiff from any catcher ride machine before you go off to meet captain scarlet though you must return to me <laughs> I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. Captain Scarlet has been tracking the treasure of the sands for several years. <gasps> you should sail out to meet her in your sand skiff. from Oasis. That's a... Alright, well... Send that once you're part of the toughest, bitch! Hand it over! And I'm being attacked. Great. Wonderful. Hey, stranger, you give me a hand with Sandman's boys. I'll make it worth your while, alright? Nice moves out there. You're a vault hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick. But, God, oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself. Do that a lot, sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scott. Nice to meet ya. Right, I should probably get you up to speed. So, the legends say that whoever gets all four pieces of a mystical compass will find the lost treasure. I've got a piece, because I'm awesome, but Sandman has one too. Head to Hater's Folly, kill Sandman, and get his piece of the compass. Sound good? Why loot? 
the dead when you can buy from me. My pleasure as always. Don't die. I need your business. <laughs> some new catchphrases. Let me know if any of these grab you. Yar! A vast matey! Yo-ho-ho! -ho. Hoist the mainsail! Walk the plank! Shove me timbers! Oh, no, that one didn't work at all. Wondering why I'm sending you to kill Sandman rather than do it myself. First of all, good question. Glad to see you, you know, taking the initiative. Second of all, Sandman's pretty strong and you're expendable as hell, so good luck! <laughs> what a, a surprise! <laughs> oh, sorry, I hacked into your Echo device shortly after we met, so I can see everything you can. I get horrifically bored, and it's fun to watch you kill people. Two words, my friend. No refunds. <laughs> is dying of thirst. <laughs> Otherwise, the sight of that enormous spring might fill me with a tragic rage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
First two fingers, like this, best buds. Until we stumbled upon some of Captain Blade's old notes about the lost treasure, that is. Together, Sandman and I found two pieces of Captain Blade's mystical compass. Then, because I'm an idiot, I tried to stab him in the back. Literally, the knife blade snapped, he shot me in the leg and ran. It was pretty embarrassing, but that's when I learned never betray your friends until you're sure you've got the upper hand. <laughs> told you to lay off. Now I gotta kill you, your friends, and your family! How would he even know where your family lives? He, he's... just ignore him, he's talking crap! I think you took a wrong turn!
Hello there, loot. I told you to. Now you're gonna learn that big pain... ...comes from small packages! so we can get the third compass piece and be that much closer to finding the treasure.
See you, bro! Treasure. Come on back! Down, one to go. Once the compass is fixed, we'll find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. I don't know where the last part of the compass is, but I know someone who might. His name is Herbert, and he lives out in the rust yards. Take that gift box over there. Hold on to that gift, and don't give it to Herbert until I tell you to. Now go meet up with him. Off with you now. Treasure. I'm gonna buy a house. Built out of whiskey and steak. Now, you might be worried that once you get all four pieces of the compass, I'll kill you and take it for myself. Wrong. Even once complete, the compass still needs to be taken to a very super secret location before it will reveal where Blade's treasure is buried. You can rest easy for now.
Jobs, the guy you're looking for, I brought him on board a few months back because he's stupidly knowledgeable about Captain Blade's treasure. Then I kicked him off because you'll you'll see. Turn deployed. Is that a girl. You need not pay me. If Herbert asks about me, don't say.
bridge. Take the elevator up, knock on the door, and prepare for a smell straight out of your nightmares. <laughs> Second. Scarlet, is that you? Oh, you're not Scarlet, but I can taste her scent on you. She wants the last compass piece, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Let's talk, you and me. so happy oh yes but no the compass alone won't do she needs to know how much i care the tapes yes get the tape get the tapes i'll mark them on your echo
something like this would happen. Just collect his little love letters as quick as you can, sorry.
stealing from her. She's so honorable. Through my telescope, I saw her give him a gun to defend himself. As she ran him through with her sword, I knew. I knew she's the one. to him and wash your hands afterward. Ugh. the tapes? Once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass, Scarlet will have to take me back. The last compass piece is in that chest. Ah, must be rusty. Rusty, rusty. Just shoot the low. Your shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Yeah! Whoops. Looks like when you shot the lock, you blasted the final compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Um, no, wait! Uh, I can make a replacement! I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, go, go! <sighs>
Thanks for the scratch.
Sentry!
Murder, take Marcus Munitions. Don't have too much fun. <sighs> Thank you. 
Titan! Gimme! And this goes there. Tighten that. Cut that down just a hair. Aha! Here you go! The last piece of the compass! Now give that to Scarlet, along with the tapes. And she'll love me again. And if she doesn't, I'll follow her, and I'll smell her, and I'll just make her love me! <laughs> you got the compass piece? Great! Now give her about that little gift I gave you and come on back. She'll respect me one day. She has to. A gift? From Scarlet? I knew it! I knew she cared! <laughs> But, oh, I forgot to mention you were carrying a rather large bomb around with you, didn't I? Many apologies. Now, just bring back that last compass piece so we can find out where the treasure's buried. But it's time to assemble the compass and find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. Here, this is my piece of the compass. Take it. Now combine it with the other three pieces of the compass you've collected on that table over there. There it is, the compass of the sands. Please grab it. And now we've treasure to find. Take the compass to Magnus Lighthouse. Hope you've had your shots. Come on back in. built the Magnus Lighthouse a few years before he died. His notes say that if you take the compass to the top of the lighthouse, it'll show you exactly where the treasure is buried. Of course, Blade's notes also had a lot to say about society being secretly run by sentient tacos. It kind of went off the rails there near the end. Warning, this is your... Hey! 
before me, Man, which no. won't, of course, but just in case, be careful of the Leviathan. Make it ain't Roscoe, as I may have already mentioned, and Blade's notes say it will die to protect the treasure chamber.
Nathan knows how close we are to finding the treasure, and he sounds rather miffed. Pretty awesome, mm. right? find out exactly where the treasure is buried. <laughs>
but the bad news is the Leviathan swallowed us. The good news is it's taking us to the treasure room. But the best news is, do you remember my pet Roscoe? I found him! It's the story of how the Vault Hunters defeated the treacherous Captain Scarlet and slew the Leviathan. And as the sun set on Pandora, the Vault Hunters realized that while they'd found Captain Blade's lost army, the true treasure of the sands had been inside them all along. The end. How was that? That last part was really hokey. Yeah, it felt kind of contrived, didn't it? Extremely. But otherwise, you ended that story pretty well for a dirty little orphan. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. I gotta teach somebody to tell these stories when I'm gone. Might as well be you. Yeah. I love you, Marcus. That's weird.
Anything catches your eye. Don't die. I need your business. Huh? 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 